going on everybody the ice man here the ice man's return youtube channel yes on this thursday october 20th 2016 and yes tna impact wrestling tonight but some really good news for tna wrestling fans the fight network and the anthem entertainment is paying off the debts of tna wrestling and dixie carter um, they now are going to be a real big part of TNA Wrestling. Uh, they want to get the promotion back up and running the way it used to run. Um, and this is a good thing for TNA Wrestling fans and for TNA Wrestling in general. Um, I believe Billy Corgan's going to be paid off as well. And here's the thing. Now, a lot of us really weren't aware of a lot of the in and ongoing um, meetings that were going on. Now, Dixie, originally, there was talks about selling to Billy Corrigan, but she reluctantly decided not to. And my belief is Corrigan had plans for TNA, and it might have been to sell to the WWE, sell the rights to the library, and probably TNA would have been closed down. And, of course, this is where I give... Dixie Carter credit. She does not want to see TNA wrestling die. She does not want to see it fold. She knew if she sold to the WWE, it would have been closed down because the WWE had no reason to keep it open, much like they did with WCW back in 2001. So Dixie remained stern. She didn't sell, and up to the last minute, she found a way to keep TNA alive and by having uh, dealings with the Fight Network and Anthem Entertainment she has found a way and this might be a better thing for TNA now uh, there are reports possibly that uh, the TNA impact tapings would be done in, ta uh, in Canada and not at the impact zone which this could be a good thing for TNA as well uh, going to a different arena, I think it's run its course in the impact zone. So if it does uh, indeed move into Canada, who can complain? It could be to a bigger venue. And, of course, uh, a lot of the TNA fans up in Canada would have the opportunity to go to these events live. And who knows what could happen down the road. Maybe we'll eventually see monthly pay-per-views. Um, who knows? We just have to wait and see. So I see 2017 becoming a uh, revival year for TNA Wrestling. Um, they'll probably keep the TNA name. If they chose to change it, I wouldn't have a problem with that either uh, because you have that stigma of TNA Wrestling where people are going to say, oh, it's TNA. Oh, well, you know, they'll remember all the bad things that have happened in the recent years of TNA. And, you know, this this would just follow them around for quite some time until TNA, if they do indeed improve and get themselves back off their feet like they used to be at one point in time. Um, I've always said the Hogan-Bischoff era, yeah, it did some good things. Uh, I think going head-to-head -head, uh, against WWE on Monday nights back in 2010 was the wrong thing to do. I don't think they were ready, but Bischoff wanted to do something like he did with WCW. He lost with WCW, and he thought maybe he had an opportunity maybe to win with TNA. And I think anybody that really had a sound mind were saying to themselves, Eric, this isn't going to work. And whether you had Hulk Hogan or not beside you, it didn't matter. I think really that the Hulk Hogan, Eric Bischoff uh, coming in soon after that, really hurt TNA because they were shelling out tons and tons of money to Hogan and Bischoff and to some of the people that they brought in. So I think that was the beginning of the downfall for TNA wrestling. And it just got worse and worse as years, you know, went by. So, I mean, but anyway, uh, the Fight Network, Anthem Entertainment, I think it's a good thing for TNA. Um, when I heard the news, I'm saying to myself, yes, you know, yes. Um, because I am a big TNA fan and I want to watch other professional wrestling promotions. Uh, I still watch the WWE on occasion. I go to their shows, but
but I can't watch them faithfully like I used to because they're not entertaining enough. I think the brand split, you know, they didn't have enough stars to, to really split into two brands and uh, have separate, have separate um, identities for pay-per-views. And I think this is going to hurt the pay-per-views as it probably already has. But in any event, um, TNA is still alive, and uh, I'm looking forward to a new era in 2017. So thank you, Fight Network, and thank you, Anthem Entertainment. And more importantly, thank you, Dixie Carter. Hopefully, this is what TNA Wrestling needed to get a boost and get that shot in the arm to revive themselves. We'll see. Only time will tell. This is the Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Peace out, everybody.